In this tutorial we will run a typical IVM monitoring scenario and visualize its results on a live dashboard. First, let's review the IVM map for this tutorial by clicking Edit. In this simple 2x3 IVR, we're going to create two test cases. First test case will reach the Voice Biometrics menu option under Sales. The second test case will reach Monitoring under Support. The goal of the test cases is to navigate through the IVR to their destination and validate that the correct audio is played back at each IVR menu. Each node of this IVR map has a sample audio file associated with it. Let's play it back. Please stay on the line and we will be with you shortly. The action field of this node is set to wait for prompt. It means that when the test case places a call into the IVR and reaches this menu, it will expect the IVR to play back the audio that matches this audio sample. It will also measure the audio quality as well as the delays that might occur if the IVR is overloaded. These and any other KPIs are automatically measured and made available for a display on Omni Intelligence dashboards when test cases are executed. Let's create our two tests. We are going to use a lab trunk for this IVR since it is hosted in our lab. The scenario is now ready to be run. First, we will run it in debug mode to test it out. Since we are running it in our lab, we should use a call generator that is installed in the lab as well. The first thing to check is the execution logs. Open them up. The currently executing scenario is on the top of the list. Let's wait for the log to appear. This log shows us that our scenario is running and producing KPIs. The debug session is finished now. Let's quickly review the log. Here we can see that two calls were made for each of our test cases. Let's stop the schedule that has executed this debug scenario. Now let's go back to scenarios and run this scenario as a monitoring session. We click on Run and select Monitoring. We also select the lab call generator to place our calls from. Click on Schedule. For this tutorial we will create a schedule that will trigger successive scenario execution for one hour, starting from the current time. Let's also give this monitoring session a name. Now we're ready to start our IVR monitoring session. Let's have a look at the log again. The scenario is running as expected. Now we're ready to visualize this monitoring session on a dashboard. Dashboards are set up in the Analytics section of the platform. Click Analytics at the top. Click Add Row. We can add as many rows as required. Each row can accommodate one or more widgets which can graph the KPIs. This is done by simply dragging the right edge of the row left. Click Select Series. The Series section of the widget configuration can be expanded. All KPIs are organized in folders under the reporting service. The top folder is the session name that we created when we launched the scenario. All KPIs that are listed here are aggregate KPIs calculated for all scenarios that are run under the tutorial session. This is useful when the organization has more than one IVR. In this case multiple scenarios can report into the same session and a global, organization-wide dashboard can be built. 
The next level is the name of the scenario itself. The KPIs that are listed here are aggregate KPIs for all test cases that the scenario has. Under Tutorial we have two more folders for each of our test cases. The full list of supported KPIs and their descriptions can be found on our documentation website. For this widget, let's choose single value to be the content type and live calls to be the KPI to visualize. Let's enter live calls as the caption of this widget. Next let's show audio quality of the IVM menus that our test cases traverse. Let's give our dashboard a name and save. In our next tutorial we will learn how to set up alerts when KPIs exceed certain thresholds. Thank you for watching and have a great day.